Not only is it emergency preparedness week, but Vernon is playing host to a meeting of fire prevention officers from around BC. So we're asking, what should you do to be prepared? So during emergency preparedness week, we always like to encourage uh, the public to get grab and go bags, make family plans. So in a grab and go bag, you would have things like an extra set of car keys, a set of an extra set of glasses if you wear that, some medication if you require that. It's something, it's a bag, it's a tote, whatever you want, something that can sit beside the door. And if suddenly you get evacuated or you have to run, you grab it, you go, and it lessens the impact of that disaster for you. Because of what we're seeing in Fort McMurray, I guess this is uh, really hitting home to people really should be prepared. Absolutely. I mean, you know, we think back, I, I think back to what was it, 2011 or 2010 when Slave Lake burnt. And I, I always come back to, I bet you the day before, the folks in Slave Lake didn't think, oh my goodness, our town is going to burn up. And I bet the folks in Fort McMurray didn't think that either. But look at the situation they're in. So having that plan, having a grab and go bag, it does somewhat lessen the impact. The public is also urged to have a family plan ready. That's to know where your family members are and where to meet them in the event of an emergency. Kate Bowie for Castanet News in Vernon.